Hey, hey, how's it going? David Taub here with Epic Guitar Instruction. Hope all's going well, and I hope your guitar and musical journeys are going famously. Today you're going to learn how to play the song Down on the Corner by Credence Clearwater Revival, and this is from their fourth studio record in 1969, Willie and the Poor Boys. And to play this song, all you're going to need is just three chords. It's a couple of strum patterns, and I'm going to show you those intro licks that they play, too, that are very trademarked. And the song is in standard A440 tuning, so go ahead and tune your guitars low to high, E, A, D, G, B, and E. The song's about a moderate pace, about 108 beats per minute, and it's in 4-4 four, four time. Now here's the three chords you're going to need to play the song. We're in the key of C major, so you're going to need a C major chord, G major chord, you could play the open G, or if, you, if it's easier for to grab, play the bar chord G because you're going to be switching a lot to F so just a whole step down you're going to need F major and those are the only three chords in the song and if you're having trouble with that F chord or changing from open to bar chords I could really help you with that click the link in the YouTube description box below I'll send you a killer free video lesson it's extended play it's not on YouTube and has my best bar chord playing and changing technique tips it's absolutely packed it has killer exercises to really get your chord changes blasted to the next level I'll pair it with an ebook which has more Chord charts in it, more lessons, more exercises. It's killer one-two punch. I'll send them both to you for free. Video lesson, ebook, just click that link below. So we're basically doing just a one guitar version of this song. There's multiple guitars on the original recording, but we're going to just combine it for one guitar. Um, and there's basically just three parts to the song. There's those intro licks. There's basically two licks, which I'm going to show you next. Um, and then there's just verses and choruses, and the song just keeps repeating, verse, chorus, verse, chorus. There's an instrumental section, the first one, but they're just playing the verse changes, and then the second instrumental section, you just play the first two lines of the verse changes. And that's it. It's basically just intro, verses, and choruses. Let me play you the intro licks. Now, obviously, it's bass guitar, and then it's joined by a guitar in the original recording. We're just going to play them on the guitar. And for these licks, he plays basically two licks. He plays the first lick twice, then he plays the second lick once, and then he plays the, 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 the last time he plays the first lick again. Let me play the whole sequence for you, and then I'll go back and explain it. It'll sound like this. And then it starts off first one early in the evening just around supper time on a C chord. Okay, so the lick. Basically the first lick uh, you're going to play it's based off of the C chord going to the G and then going to the C. Think of this section in four parts. The first lick he plays twice. Third fret on the C note because it's kind of over that C chord. C, uh, third fret A string to the fifth fret E. Third fret E string. Third fret A string. Okay, that's the first part. So the second part is uh, third fret A string, fifth fret low E, third fret low E. First two little sections together. And then the last part would be third fret again on the low E, then second fret A, and then third fret A twice. Here's whole lick one slow. And you do that twice, so that's the first part and the second part. Now the third part, he switches to that F chord, and then we're going to start on the F note, third fret on the D string, and you're basically going to play pretty much the same exact fingering. So it's third fret, just move everything down one string. Third fret D, fifth fret A, third fret A, third fret D. And then third fret D again, D string, fifth fret A string, third fret A string. So you get this so far. And then third fret again on the A string, second fret, D string, and then fifth fret, stretch to the fifth fret on the D string. Okay, that's the second lick, which he's playing over that F and C. So that'll sound like this slow. Okay, so now you know the first one, the second one, that's the third one, and then the fourth one you just repeat the first one again. There's three verses in the song, they're all the same, and they just feature, the trickiest part probably for you is going to be the 16th note strumming. Okay, let me play the verses for you and then I'll go back and explain it and I'll explain the rhythm pattern. It'll sound like this right from the C chord. The first verse is early in the evening, just around supper time, it'll sound like this. <laughs> Thank you. 
down around the corner. That's when it goes to the F is the chorus. So you know where the lyrics fit in, where the chords change. It's C on early in the evening. G you change on just, just about supper time. Go back to C. Over by the courthouse, they're starting on starting, change to G, to unwind, C. Then F, more kids on the corner, C, on trying to bring you up. Then C again on Willie picks up a tune and he, G, blows it on the C harp. Then it changes to the chorus F down on the corner. Okay, the strumming pattern, like I mentioned earlier, 16th notes, you really want to keep a loose feel, and 16th notes are four notes per beat, so it's counted out like one E and a, uh, two E and a, uh, three E and a. Uh. See, there's four, one E and a, uh, before you get to the two, so four notes per beat. So when you strum, it's kind of like this. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. This is straight 16th notes, and you want to kind of get that loose feel. So kind of get that groove down, and here's the strum pattern basically. Uh, we're going to use a different, couple different variations of this. Down, up, down, up, down, down, up, 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 down. Alright, that's the pattern you want to get solid. Down, up, down, up, down, down, up, 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 down. Down, up, down, up, down, down, up, 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 down. Okay, that's one pattern. You use that on the C chord. Then you switch the G. Down, up, down, up, down, down. So on the C, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, 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 down. Change to G, down, up, down, up, down, down. Two downs at the end. So on G, down, up, down, up, down, down. All right, and then you go back to C. Because you're ending that on a down, on the next C, you're going to go up, 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 down. And then followed by, you repeat that down, up, down, up, down, down, up, 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 down. Okay? Sounds confusing, but you'll get it. Here's the first three slow. C. Down, up, down, up, down, down, C, up, 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 down. C again, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down. G again, down, up, down, up, down, down, C, up, 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 down. All right? And then when you go to the F, you're just doing down, up, down, up, down, down, up, 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 down. Same thing you did as the C, and then you go back to the C. Down, up, down, up, down, down, up, 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 down. Then you repeat it because the C's twice. Down, up, down, up, down, up, 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 down, G. Down, up, down, up, down. Last up, 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 down is on the C, right? So basically just a couple of strum patterns and you just practice it slow. so on and so forth and that's all the verses and if you do me a huge favor please subscribe to the channel you know because that really helps us to keep bringing the content and ring that subscription bell because then you'll be notified when we have new lessons posted also leave me a comment below let me know how you like this lesson let me know what lessons you'd like to see coming up in the future and if you like this video please click the like button uh, hit that thumbs up share it and uh, thank you so much for your support that leads us to the catchy chorus, down on the corner, out in the street, uh, Willie and the poor boys are playing, bring a nickel, tap your feet. Let me play it for you, and then I'll go back and explain it. We're going to change chords a little quicker, we'll modify the strum a little bit, but it'll sound like this. Uh, right from that F, changes right into the chorus. And then you go right into verse 2 hits the washboard. All right, so basically the changes are F down on the C corner, G out on G, on, on out, you change the G out in the street is C, uh, Willie and the F on Anna, poor boys, is, you change to F, poor boys are C playing, bring a G, nickel, on nickel change the G, tap your feet, C, the strum pattern. So basically it's F, C, G, C, twice. The strum pattern will use parts of the strums that we used previously. So on the F chord, down, up, down, up, down, down. Same thing like we did on the G chord in the verse, right? And quickly go to C, up, 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 down. Okay, then you go back to G, down, up, down, up, down, down. And then C, up, 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 down. So it's the same strum on the F and the G, and then the same strum on the C.
plays that progression twice and that's the chorus and the song is just verse chorus verse chorus the instrumental part you just play the verse changes chorus another instrumental break you just play the first two lines of the verse changes basically c g c g c f c and then um, there's a another chorus, uh, the outro chorus, which he's basically just playing the chorus over and over, repeating it like three times and then it fades out. So to end the song, I'd end on a C chord, just play the, the chorus and then like the last four chords, F, C, G, C, end on the C. And you can just hit the hard C and stop or you could hit it and let it ring like. let that C chord ring and that's the whole song that's down on the corner by CCR really fun one to add to your song catalogs quickly hope you enjoy it don't forget subscribe to the channel because that really helps us to keep bringing the content and uh, then you'll be notified if you ring that subscription bell you'll be notified when we have new lessons posted also click on the link in the YouTube description box below get my killer free video lesson and ebook on essential bar chord playing and changing technique tips exercises it's packed thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for your support over the years and years so appreciate it stay tuned I got tons more killer lessons and content coming and remember your guitar playing is an evolution so enjoy the journey take care rock on see you in the next lesson